The Kavli Nanoscience Institute at Caltech is dedicated to studying all phenomena of nanoscale. The nanoscale is one billionth of a meter, so it's a very small um, length scale. And there are many phenomena that occur at that scale that are very complex and whose behavior is different from what we might expect. The KNI is dedicated to not only studying these phenomena, but in making use of them to create new engineered devices with capabilities that weren't open to us before. A huge part of the KNI is the clean room lab, and that allows us to fabricate these devices. The KNI clean room is a multi-user research facility. Prior to the existence of the KNI, each professor would have their own lab with whatever equipment they needed for their research. By combining the intellectual know-how and intellectual backgrounds, we were able to create a wide-ranging equipment set that was far beyond what any uh, individual professor could do on their own, run research from lithography to thin film deposition, plasma etching, wet chemistry, and electron microscopes. There's a specialized environment you have to be working in. You have to wear a bunny suit, cover all that keeps all the dust particles from going into the lab and contaminating everybody's work. I'm in charge of all the technical operations, making sure that uh, the equipment is operating, training, uh, users on some of the equipment help our members uh, to achieve their research goals. We are cross-disciplinary, interdisciplinary. We have over 30, about 35 affiliated faculty members. It represents about 10% of the entire professorial community at Caltech. We are open to graduate students, postdocs, faculty members, researchers from industry. Especially we like to support startups. This integrative and collaborative uh, environment is conducive to the members of technical staff interacting with a postdoc or with a graduate student. One of the most valuable aspects uh, I got from the KNI was just talking to other users who are, you know, experts and know a lot more than I did. The nanofabrication facilities at the KNI are essential for us to develop quantum materials into novel nano devices and also to create novel functionalities into these quantum materials by nanoscale engineering. My research is in the general area of experimental condensed matter physics with special emphasis on the studies of quantum materials quantum devices, nanoscience, and nanotechnology. This research area forms the foundation for critical components for modern semiconducting chip technologies, information and communication technologies, Internet of Things, and quantum information technology. Kavli Nanoscience Institute is crucial for all the research that we do in our laboratory. I make optical devices that have very, very small features, as small as a tens of or hundreds of nanometers. We use these devices to control light in very unusual ways. For example, we can make devices that can focus different wavelengths of light to different focal spots, and that could be used in uh, developing the next generation of e image sensors. When we can control light at the level of a single photon interacting with a single atom, we can make devices that are used in quantum technologies. We are currently working on developing optical quantum networks, and this will be used to interconnect future quantum computers at long distances. A promising platform for quantum information processing processing is the superconducting microwave frequency qubit. You need to come up with some other uh, interface to connect them over long distances because microwave frequency transmission at room temperature is very difficult. There's a lot of added noise and a lot of loss. So the idea of the transducer is to be able to uh, change our microwave frequency photons up to optical wavelength uh, photons that have a much easier time traveling over long distances. The research that I work on that's supported by the KNI is on these materials called transition metal dichalcinides or team DCs. They're two-dimensional materials that are really thin on a nanometer scale. And we're interested in using these team DCs where you have devices in space. You want to be able to develop very thin film or lightweight solar structures in addition to being able to achieve high efficiency. In the KNI, I use the photolithography area, the electron beam deposition. Also, I use the wet chemistry room for developing these metal patterns. So it's really helpful. All of them are in one space, so I can move from one process step to the other. The KNI is so much more than the KNI clean room lab. We have several programs that specifically cater to promoting education to young scientists. One that I'm most fond of is the KNI Surf the Wave Fellowships, and this is a program that supports summer undergraduate researchers who are not from Caltech, who come to campus for a 10-week period. I was part of the WAVE program. My mentor gave me a lot of freedom in my research, in addition to giving me a lot of uh, good critique and feedback. It helped 
me understand that graduate school is something I want to pursue. I didn't even know Caltech was an option for me. The K and I Wheatley Scholars in Nanoscience provides support for faculty members who want to pursue novel areas of research that may be challenging to be funded through traditional avenues. I had the honor of uh, being the first uh, KNI Whitley Scholar. It allowed me to launch some new research directions where I started to look at some new quantum systems. It was very important because I gave a Watson lecture. This was a tremendous opportunity where I could showcase my research to a very large audience. The k is a launching pad. It's more of a community. It's quite exciting. People can uh, interact, exchange ideas, uh, which is exciting and, and wonderful to see young people working together with others. And we have lots of wonderful graduates who went to academia, um, industry, uh, national labs. The k and would not be what it is without the generous support of the Cavley Foundation. They give us the freedom to operate how our faculty director, how our board envisions. The Cavley Foundation has been such an incredibly supportive, generous, and thoughtful partner for us over the last 20 years. The biggest thank you um, I have is to the Cavalry Foundation for not being afraid of taking risks and for enabling us to have these incredible capabilities here and for having enough faith in us to give us this opportunity to really pursue what we're passionate about. Fred Cavalry's vision for the ultimate scientific frontiers include the largest which is astrophysics, the smallest, which is nanoscience, and the most complex, which is neuroscience. The k &I continues to embrace and to realize Fred Kavli's original vision for what the Kavli Institutes would do. From the very multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary environment to the education aspect of bringing in the younger generations of scientists and helping them grow through this realization of studying the very small phenomena and the very complex phenomena and for constantly pushing boundaries of what is possible and for constantly asking ourselves, why not? If this was not possible before, why can't I do it now? KNI has really transformed uh, nanoscience, nanotechnology research at Caltech, and I see a lot more exciting things to come.